more physical. Um, guys got a higher level of energy. Um, and your, your adrenaline is definitely pumping. How excited are you for this season? How healthy are you right now? I'm uh, very excited, man. I've been putting in a lot of work to, to, to play well this year and, and be at my best, so I feel really good. Does it get to a point where you just, like we, we ask, it seems like we ask this every year about you, about your health and everything like, like that. Does it get to a point where you just, you're tired of talking about your health and you just want to show what you can do on the field? Now, I understand why you guys ask. I've been having a lot of issues lately in uh, these last couple of years, so you know, I understand the questions, but you know, I just got it. Answering with my performance and, uh, you know, I actually speak louder than words. How have the quarterbacks look, all uh, three? The quarterbacks been looking great, man. Um, I feel like we're coming together every day more and more, so uh, we just got to keep grinding. Describe the kind of ball that really has these throws. Those are pretty ball, man. He's got a really quick release. Uh, he's really active. He's got a lot of time. What's the big adjustment for him right now? Uh, getting, getting in the huddle and calling the plays and getting under the center. I don't think he was doing much of that at Ohio State, but he's a really smart guy and he's picking it up quick. Have you talked to him about this camp as opposed to like when you first started your first camp and how different it is now as to being a veteran? Not much, man. He's a poised guy. Uh, he's, he seems older than he is. Uh, he's really smart and uh, I got all the confidence in the world in him. How much do you think the offense kind of took a step back last year? Because Jay says that, you know, you guys are a different team with you and Chris in there and both of you guys have missed significant time. How much do you think that impacted just the overall flow of the offense? Um, every week, me and Chris are a big um, piece of the offense. So now that me and him are both stronger and, and more healthy um, after a year, after our surgery, you know, it should it should boost the offense. Just to clarify, do you still feel token? And it's just something that you've kind of gotten used to? Or is it something that's like on a wire? My feet are definitely getting stronger. Um, they, they're way stronger than last year. And uh, I feel more explosive and uh, I feel a lot better. Jordan, how different do you feel? I mean, obviously last year, this time, you would just started running, I remember. How different do you feel now compared to middle of the end of the, end of the last season? I feel a lot different, man. Uh, I was able to train these whole three months leading up to camp uh, before I was trying to walk again and, you know, just getting out of the boot and things like that. So I feel a lot, a lot better, uh, you know, not dealing with as much pain. And, I feel strong. So what difference do you even see in a couple of days out here because of that? Uh, more fluid in my, in my brain, more powerful off the line of swimming and things like that. What does that to you mentally just knowing your body? It's a big boost, man. Uh, just having confidence in my body and my feet to be able to plant like I used to be able to plant and uh, things like that. So it's definitely a confidence boost. Were you still training in Miami? Yes. Houses, and so what were you able to do now that you could run, like what kind of drills or what, what did you mostly focus on being able to go? For? First, I got to give credit to Chad and uh, my, my guy Dan and in Coop in Texas because that's where I was at before I went to Miami. And those guys got me ready to be able to just train like everybody else trained. Uh, before, I, I was always limited and, you know, I had to do, you know, while everybody was sprinting and pushing weight, I was over there rehabbing. They got me right to be able to do what everybody else was able to do and and really just, you know, work like a regular pro athlete. Is there I'm maintenance sure. that you have to do kind of regularly to kind of keep that going, or, or are you just kind of clear and able to just do what you do? Definitely, man. Uh, one thing I learned, you know, seven years in now is that healthy or not, you still got to do maintenance. You know, that's, a, that's part of being a professional, and uh, that's one thing that I'm trying to really improve on. What do you have to do specifically for your feet? Uh, I got to get, you know, I gotta get rubbed down every after practice, before practice. I gotta activate my muscles and my toes before practice, after practice. I gotta do that all day. What's the like the time process like for that? How long does that, all that take every day? How much time are you putting in? As much time as it needs, man, because I love playing this game and uh, that's what's allowing me to play. You can just tell when, when you're right and ready to go after doing those activations. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's time. I feel good and feel ready. Um, a lot different feeling than last year. No, I mean, like when you have to get ready and you said you have to activate the muscles in your toes, mm -hmm. you just do it as much until you know that it's time and you can get out on the field. I, I follow my, uh, my physical therapist uh, protocol and I do what they ask me to do. I, I do the same routine as I've been doing these whole months. So it's definitely a pain.